This is Paul Bryan for South Coast Yachts, the San Diego Beneteau dealer, and today I'm going to do another video walkthrough on this 2015 Beneteau Oceanus 45. It's located here at Sun Road Marina, right where our office is on Harbor Island, and this is going to be a detailed walkthrough, so uh, enjoy, and uh, you can contact me at paul at scyachts.com or find it at our website at scyachts.com. Thank you. I'll give you a detailed walkthrough of this boat. Up forward we have a, a Delta anchor and uh, LED nav lights up forward there. Uh, this is a grey hull, light grey hull, just been completely buffed and waxed. Um, it's really beautiful. You can see the hard chine along there. Helps with the stability of the boat. And uh, inmast furling rig. U.S. Spa's rig. This boat has a uh, custom Ullman mainsail and jib. So really nice shape, very sturdy, heavy duty. Everything, all the stainless has been just recently waxed and polished. The whole boat detailed inside and out. She also has the Iverson designed Dodger Bimini and connector. And uh, this boat is a 2015, and as you can see, the canvas is still as tight as a drum. It uses very heavy-duty inch and a quarter stainless steel tubing, so very, very sturdy indeed. Give you a shot of the back of the boat. As you can see, this huge cockpit. Um, I'll show you a better shot uh, from on board. So let's go take a look. It has twin bow rollers. There's also a wonderful attachment point here for the um, asymmetric spinnaker or code zero, whatever you want to do for a loose footed sail. And I love the twin bow rollers. This big heavy stainless steel tang also helps to support those bow rollers when anchoring as well as for the spinnaker. And large anchor locker. Looks like he's added chain. I believe it's about 200 feet of chain plus the road in there. Has a remote here as well as a remote at the helm with a chain counter. There's a sail locker in here for storing stuff. There's a ladder that goes down inside there. It's locked at the moment, but really nice place to put all your stuff long term storage. All lines led back to the cockpit. Give you a shot up the mast here. You can see the uh, big LED foredeck light and the radar. The radar is mounted on a stainless steel uh, radar mount. So very, very sturdy. Doesn't get knocked off when tacking by the jib. Also um, adjustable Genoa car tracks. So you can move the car forward and back from the cockpit. You can see the beautiful compound curve of this Dodger here. The stainless steel work on this is just beautiful. First class, heavy duty stitching, tight as a drum. And large cockpit, twin helm station. Both helms have B&G multifunction displays and two-speed electric primary winches for the Genoa sheets and these deluxe cockpit cushions with the rolled seat backs here makes a really good backrest and of course very essential cup holders in there really nice if you have to go up forward um, you can just drop your your drink in the cup holder there um, just very convenient and then um, to starboard of the companionway you've got all your clutches everything neatly labeled and on this side you've got a electric Harkin winch again all the clutches nicely labeled and what's nice with this setup is you can lead these lines around to this electric winch on this side 
just go and look at these instruments on this helm. So, again, two speed Harkin winch, bow thruster here, yeah, electric uh, chain counter with um, or remote control for the anchor, win anchor windlass with a chain counter, autopilot uh, remote, and then your multifunction BNG display, chart plotter radar, and you also have that over here you can see we've got the radar with the overlay on or the chart with the overlay on and radar over here so nice big BNG display on a swivel mount on the cockpit table teak has just been done on this boat bleached and sealed <coughs> and then of course we have this wonderful stern seat here um, boarding ladder or swim ladder so when this goes down it creates the swim platform and you have a really nice big swim ladder in the middle of that one of the nicest features of this boat we also have hot and cold swim shower under there <coughs> and of course this is your master control station so you've got your shifter easy to hand and when docking this boat it's really convenient to sit back here like this and you can control the the gear shift here, your gear shift and throttle, and then your bow thruster right here. So backing the boat is really easy from that position. Just give you a shot of this whole cockpit with the um, bimini. It has windows in it, so you can see the masthead. Sorry, we were looking right up into the sun there, but you can see the sails from each helm station, and then you have the connector in the middle that can be removed when you're sailing. So you leave the bimini up and just have the dodger and bimini. And wide access, so even if someone's sitting here, you can still get by, the skipper can still get by to adjust the sails here from these winches. Um, large companionway, hatch, there's the slider, and then these doors, French doors here. You also have line bags on either side of the companionway to keep your lines organized. So that's the cockpit and on deck. Let's go and take a look down below. As we go down below, you'll notice these really nice, gently sloping 45 degree companionway stairs with a good leather wrapped handhold on either side. Spacious salon and I'll start with the galley to port, so L-shaped galley and uh, three burner force 10 stove with oven and broiler and dual stainless steel sinks here, these nice covers on and deep uh, freezer, top loading freezer and then a front-loading refrigerator with a ice box at the top. Plenty of cupboard space along here and microwave oven. Nice little port right above the galley. Give the chef some air. And to port and aft we have the port aft guest stateroom nice uh, porthole in the side of the hull and custom bedding uh, sheets pillows and uh, coverlets on all the beds and then over to starboard starboard guest cabin again plenty of light and air uh, there's another port up here see into the cockpit and another one overhead all LED lights on this boat and very comfortable queen size berth in this hanging locker you can see the custom sheets and your 2000 watt inverter and then both these aft cabins share the aft guest head so it has a separate stall shower nice clean vanity as you can see, lots of light here and a freshwater electric 
Jabsco toilet. So as we come out to the salon, to starboard, nice U-shaped um, seat here. The salon table opens up, create plenty of space. This island seat moves out for better seating for extra guests. You have all your controls here, your AC and DC breakers and switches. Inverter control up here, and then your Fusion Stereo. Uh, it's Bluetooth, so you can stream from an iPhone, iPad, or smartphone. And you have a Bluetooth um, player, or Blu-ray player, I should say. A DVD Blu-ray player that plays DVDs on the, or Blu-ray discs on the high-def TV. And then to port... Um, you can see lots of wine storage. It is a French boat, so always find lots of st uh, space to store your wine. Plenty of lockers here on the side. And then this table actually slides. We can move this and slide this back and forth. Uh, oh, someone's locked that one down. But this seat slides back over, and so convertible salon seating which is a nice feature and then moving forward we have the master stateroom large hanging lockers to port plenty of lockers drawers under the bed a line of lockers down each side of the cabin and again these large hull port lights give good visibility again Benito has um, consciously thought about uh, fewer hatches on top to let heat into the boat but more ports on the side to let in the light. Again custom bedding and it has its own ensuite toilet, freshwater Jabsco, electric flush toilet and vanity and separate stall shower. All the hatches on the boat have either mosquito screen one way or blackout shade the other way. And we'll take a look at the engine. So this is a Yanmar. You can see the companionway steps are on gas struts. There are large inspection um, hatches on either side of the engine over here. Um, you have your sea strainer and uh, coolant bottle there. All the service things are right close to hand and the engine's been very well maintained. Um, 675 hours at this point, I believe. This is uh, mid-August, so um, 675 hours on this boat. So, um, again, this is the 2015 Benito Oceanus 45 Hilaria. My name is Paul Bryant and I'm with South Coast Yachts, the San Diego Benito dealer. And you can find more information on this boat on our website, scyachts.com, or email me at paul at scyachts.com, or call me on my cell at 619-823-6186. I also have a large database of detailed photos of the boat. If you would like those, just email me and I can send you a link to the web album. Again, Paul Bryant, uh, thanks again for watching this video.